Today we're talking about adaptogenic herbs. Adaptogens are great ways to help our hormones be balanced. They also help our immune function, have some anti-cancer benefits, and just are super balancing for our systems in general. So if you want to learn more about adaptogenic herbs and hormone balance, check out today's video. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. I'm a functional medicine doctor, family medicine doctor, and registered dietitian. And for the best advice in functional medicine, safe and simple ways to rebalance your health, energy, and vitality, stay tuned to my channel every Thursday. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I post every week. So today we are talking about more about herbs. Last week we talked about cortisol and how to lower cortisol naturally, so I suggest you check out the um, cortisol series if you're interested in that and that's been the last uh, three videos but this week we're talking about more about the herbs I mentioned there which are adaptogenic herbs and how overall they can help um, balance hormones not just cortisol so adaptogenic herbs are pretty amazing they can um, help tone down where we need toning and boost up um, balance where we need that they kind of give our our uh, systems a big cuddle, as I saw referred to in another blog post that I thought was a really awesome way to put it because um, that's what they can do. Uh, they're just amazing herbs and I've seen wonderful results from them. So by the end of today's video, you're going to have a few ideas on it, what adaptogenic herbs are and which ones you could look at for potentially any problems you might be having. There's also going to be a PDF with this information if you don't want to take notes. So the first herb that I want to talk about is one I talked about last week a little bit, but I want to talk about it from a broader perspective, and that would be ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is amazing. I use it for uh, cortisol a lot of times. Like I said in my last video, um, 500 to 1,000 milligrams often I use. Check with your provider first. I'm not your provider, so I don't know what you're taking and how it interacts. But that's usually the recommended dose for my patients, um, and I take, I, I, well, I take it too, but I, I recommend taking it at night. Um, but sometimes people do have benefits from taking it during the day. Um, it improves your stress response and your stress resistance. It can also help libido and estrogen, help balance estrogen levels, so improve our sexual function and our sex hormones. Um, and it can also, there's been some studies that it can um, slow down like cell division with uh, breast cancer. But that's something that needs some further research. But there, it's it's got a, a wonderful array of benefits. So ashwagandha is a great thing to consider. Um, another herb that I really like in powder or um, extract form is maca. Maca is great for um, energy boosting, sexual function, um, and uh, also perimenopause. I was forgetting about that one. Um, so symptoms of perimenopause it can be very helpful on. And one that I've used quite frequently for, in the last few weeks I talked about high cortisol, but one I've used quite frequently when there is fatigue potentially associated mostly with low cortisol, sometimes with other imbalanced sex hormones, sometimes also with high cortisol because that can be exhausting. So is Eleuthero. Um, it's very, it's like a power pack of, of an energy herbal extract. So, um, a, a brain function, it can help with that too. So that's a great one to consider if you are really fatigued. Um, it can come in various, just, it can be stimulating. So you do want to watch out for that. Um, there are some different blends that I like to use it in and I'll link those down below in the description so that you can check those out. But it's really great for those things that I just mentioned. Um, Holy basil is another great one for adrenal response. Um, sometimes if you're very fatigued or also for sex hormone balance uh, and to kind of help the liver uh, balance the hormones and kind of detox the hormones like it's supposed to. So that's another blend that you can get or another herb that you can get in a blend form. And some of those blends will be linked down below that I like to use. You can also get it in its straight extract form or of course in like a tincture or a powder. But it helps with um, hormone and liver function. Those are most of the ones that we use. Again, in my last video, I did mention um, rhodiola. So that's one to consider when you uh, are having high stress in your life. And um, you would want to take that in the morning because it is uh, can give you energy. But you wouldn't want to take it in the evening because it could be too 
too stimulating. And then I did mention some other ones in my last video that aren't necessarily adaptogenic herbs that can help with high cortisol and sleep. So check that out if you are having trouble sleeping or your cortisol has been diagnosed as high. But I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. Thanks so much for joining me today. Check out the description down below for links on the different blends that I like to use. Also, if you join our email list, you do get 10% off on our full script online um, supplement dispensary. Don't forget that uh, what's essential in balancing hormones is managing your stress, sleeping, eating well, whole food diet, low sugar, low caffeine, you know, setting boundaries in our relationships, having good, healthy relationships, all those come, those need to be done in order for these supplements to be able to help at all. It's all not all about the supplements, but these are just some, some ideas to help. So check out the link down, the, the PDF link that I have attached, join our email list, check out our social media links, and then down below if you're interested in working with me, I have a functional medicine practice and there's all kinds of information down there about my functional medicine practice, but I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer, thanks for joining me and I will see you next Thursday.